Hey, how's it going guys? It's Serge coming at you again with another tech video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to how to apply the OF1 update to your Samsung Verizon Note 3. The new update fixes a couple things. I'm not going to go through the specifics. I'll leave a link down below and probably show it on the screen really quick on what exactly is in this 0F1 update. The, the reason that we're going to have to do it the way we're doing it today is so that you could properly keep your root if you still have it and you know just keep safe so you don't officially update your phone to an official Verizon update therefore locking your phone down and not allowing you to customize in any way. So this is the way to properly and safely update to the zero OF1 update. Alrighty, so just to address any concerns you might have before you do this, this isn't gonna erase any of your files or any of your apps or anything. Your, your file system will be kept intact. The only thing this is gonna be updating is your kernel, either your modem, or your recovery so your file system should be left untouched of course with everything take your precautions and back up anything you might really really need so this is just simply updating your core firmware um, you can do this if you're using multi-system you can use this if you're just on your stock non-multi-system firmware so if you're on 5.0 jasmine rom as your stock stock firmware you know just rooted right so that's what this is for it's for any kind of phone that's on jasmine round 5.0 and above either on stock or on multi-system all right so the first step you have to do is grab your phone unlock it or whatever <clears throat> then power it down so normal right power off all right now hold the home button the volume down button and the power button. So hold the home and the volume down first and then hit the power button so you feel it vibrate. Then let go of the power. You saw I, sl I slid my finger from the power. Then you can let it all go. And then you could read the message here and you just press up to actually get into download mode. Boom, you're in download mode. That's honestly the hardest part of all this. And you're gonna repeat this process every time I tell you to put your phone into download mode. We're gonna be flashing the modem, the kernel and a recovery for OF1 onto your Verizon Note 3. So you're going to repeat this download mode step every time you apply this. So I'll let you know what we have to do. Let's go to the computer right now. Alrighty, so here I am in my file explorer. I'm going to go ahead and open up Odin. All the files you'll need will be in the description down below, including Odin and the tar files we're going to use. So first thing we gotta do is check that this repartition box is not checked. Make sure it is not checked. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna go to this AP button, go ahead and click it, and navigate to where your tar files are. And these tar files will be inside of the seven zip files. So make sure that they're unzipped and you have the .md5 at the end and that .7z or RAR. Go ahead and open up the kernel or modem or recovery. You're going to do this for each one and it will update, update this message box right here. And also the binary size will update whenever it is loaded. Then we're going to plug in our phone. Make sure that the cable is plugged into a USB 2.0 and not a 3.0. And then you'll be updated right here. It will say ID and added. And then you will also get your COM port and it will be blue. Once everything looks great and it looks exactly like this, you can go ahead and hit start. And this is the same process you will repeat for your modem and for your recovery if you decide to do those. Alrighty, so if you followed all the steps that I showed you with Odin and you simply just repeat the same process for the modem, the kernel, or the recovery, if you want to just install one of those, you can. Uh, either one of those, you can do it just by themselves, or you can go ahead and do every single one of them, uh, all three of them, which is what I did. I just wanted to make sure everything was up to date. So that's pretty much all it does. Uh, check out the links below if you have any questions on what this update is all about. Uh, short, simple, sweet. This is just in case you want to be up to the latest and greatest firmware, regardless if it brings any benefit to you or not. So now you're at the latest and greatest. 
Again, any questions you might have, leave them down below in the comments. Give this video a like. And of course, it's time to give credit where credit is due. All this music in these videos is provided by Gutless LX. You can check them out on SoundCloud or Facebook or Twitter at Gutless LX. I'll leave his information down in the description as well. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.